Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my favorite lip balms. These are tried and tested and you guys can easily vouch on me for these lip balms. Over the last five years, I have tried out so many different lip balms from so many different brands and I've also, you know, used the most cheapest to the most expensive lip balms. And these are some of the ones that I fixate to. Like, I have ruined my lips by using a lot of lip balms and I've understood like how exactly, you know, you can come out of that. So I've got some affordable to really good, expensive, worthy lip balms and we'll be getting into that. So before getting on to the recommendations, I really wanted to share a little uh, just about my skin as well as the kind of things that suit on me. I've got like medium to dry skin. It's more like, you know, a combination skin from normal to dry sort of a thing. It's medium dry, not extremely dry. The problem with my lips is it does get chapped a lot if I don't hydrate. That means I don't drink a lot of water. And secondly, if I keep on using a lot of cheap lip balms or lip balms that don't suit on me despite of their price, it just starts chapping and sometimes I can also get blisters because of using such lip balms so that's there and the very important part things like Vaseline or petroleum jelly does not work on my lips I know there are a lot of people who swear by Vaseline petroleum jelly as their holy grail lip product but for me somehow since childhood it has never worked for me I have bought different kinds of Vaseline like you know the Vaseline Hershey's the cocoa butter one but it just doesn't work on my lips it just makes my lips even more dry that's just how my lips are so I really have to use a lip balm formulated once and I kind of have figured out which ones really suit on me so now without further ado let's get into that going in no particular order I'm just picking up the ones that I see here one has to be the lineage lip balms I feel like they always come for a rescue no matter what if you have ruined your lips start using this and you will have it fixed this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and guys you can see I have emptied out it's almost on the verge of being empty this is a huge tub and yeah it's worth every penny it can be slightly expensive but if you see for the longer run it lasts you forever I bought this almost a year back and now and I'm now finishing it up by the end of December, you will see it. So it is pretty worth it. It's for 1200 rupees, but I love this lip balm. I feel like it's my go-to rescue lip balm no matter what. This is the lip sleeping mask. I personally have tried a lot of different lip balms of Laneige, the flavored versions, but I always go back to the berry one. I don't know why the original berry formulation, which is the OG. I've tried vanilla, I've tried berry, I've tried green apple, but I still love this one. The next lip balm that I have is of course Indie Wild lip balm. This is the Indie Wild Dewy Lip Tr Treatment, which is a vegan lip balm. I love this one. Again, it's another lip balm that has got no fragrance it's vegan it's got really good buttery feel and you can see i've ruined it it's almost getting over you'll see it in my empties video pretty soon this lip balm is again on the side of 8.99 rupees pretty similar to the lineage one and you get almost the same quantity if i'm not wrong this lip balm compared to the lineage one is a more soothing lip balm i really liked it i think indie wild has been doing a great job with their products i've only tried their hair oil hair serum and this lip balm and like every other person says this is one of the lip balms that you should have and I agree to it it's a beautiful buttery lip balm it kind of gives you that ghee lip balm feel you know which if you weren't vegan you would have so it's a vegan lip balm in that way but I really like it it's beautiful it's healing it's soothing and of course moisturizing the next product that I have is kind of like a lip oil gum balm because it it's called an oil tin but I'm putting into the category of lip oil balm sort of a thing because this is one of the things that really worked on me this is the etude oil tint and i have the variant i think this is yeah 06 pink oil it's got the most subtle tint guys so you don't have to worry about it it's quite hydrating to be honest compared to more tinting based so that's the reason i'm including it it's pretty affordable as well it's got like a lot of different tints as well like red one brown one i went for the most neutral one you guys know i really like very basic stuff of our daily use so yeah, this is actually quite hydrating and better compared to any other lip balms that you would find in the market. So I would recommend this. 
Next on my list has to be the hyphen lip balm. This is the hyphen vitamin infused peptide lip balm in hazel, which of course they say is a dupe of road peptide lip balm. Not spending 3000 rupees on road lip balm. Whenever I get to go to US or I get to go to any international place, I would pick it up, but not right now. So this is apparently a dupe of it. A lot of people have mixed reviews about it, but to be honest, for me, it really works. It's a nice tinted hydrating lip balm, great for like everyday use. I won't say it's good for a night lip balm but for everyday use let's say you're traveling for Tasha with a beautiful lip balm I personally love the shade hazel which is always out of stock by the way but if you can get your hands on this why not a lot of people complain about the oil being separated which I do face sometimes but how I figured it out is you just have to remove the excess air from it and then close the tube and just start mixing the lip balm like this you can see then you never have that chance of the oil being separated it depends from weather to weather but I feel like it's fine because you're just paying 350 rupees for this lip balm hyphen also has buy one get one sale so that time you can get this lip balm for straight 170 rupees which is a steel deal so yeah guys that way you can save on a lot of money this is a beautiful lip balm and would recommend you guys to get it i really like it the next lip balm that i have is from the face shop it's their vitamin lip sleeping mask i was actually sent this in pr by nika and i was shocked by how amazing this lip balm is it's quite tangerine or orange based like because it's vitamin c but it's quite hydrating if I have to use it as a lip mask like the Laneige one, it's not that great but as a lip balm on its own is super hydrating and it comes in a tough form. It is a light, it's slightly expensive but it's worth it and I really really like it. It's great if you don't want very glossy feel that Laneige gives and you want a more hydrated feel then you can get this but I really like it. Next lip balm that I have is so expensive, it's more like a lip treatment but it's worth every penny. I would save up to get the full size of this lip balm. This is actually from Estee Lauder and not a lot of people talk about it. So recently I was using this very bad lip balm of Makeup Revolution that just ruined my lips. I got blisters on my lips and I threw that lip balm away. Uh, and you know, I, I just wanted to heal my lips. I was using the Laneige one. The Laneige one does work, but it takes time. I used this one, this was in my, you know, travel bag and it just worked miraculously. I love this one. It's called the Estee Lauder Pure Color and Me Lip Repair Potion. It's like a, you know, I'll just show you. It's very hydrating. It's got no tint. Smells really nice and calming. The big version, so this is a mini that I got to try out. You cannot get the mini one. You have to buy the full size one, which is for 3,500. But if you have the money, guys, please get this lip potion. It is the best lip treatment that you can get in the market in today's time. It's so beautiful. I really, really like this one. I'm definitely going to buy this maybe during the Nika sale or next year, whenever there's a better sale. But I freaking love this product. If you have very damaged chap dehydrated lips and you want to kind of you know just get it healed start using this one from uh, Estee Lauder also I've noticed because it's the color and me one will help you with your pigmentation issues as well an expensive one but completely worth it the last one that I have in my lip balm recommendation are these two ones that I had recently purchased. These are the Simply Nam's recent launches called Sweet Kisses Hydrating Lip Balm. And I bought the shade Sugar Clear and Cupcake Pink, which is more like a neutral toned one. And guys, I love both of these lip balms. I mean, the shade is different, but this lip balm from Simply Nam is so good. I'll show you the packaging. I love the packaging as well. I really like how they've been making the tube packaging so convenient and nice and not like your ordinary one this lip balm is this one is the colored one that i've tried out but the other one is the clear one which i'll show you guys it's a beautiful lip balm and i freaking love it smells so nice it smells like cookie butter and yeah i really like the way this lip balm feels on the lips it's really hydrating it's not just like a layer of color with gloss no it's a proper hydrating lip balm and i would recommend you guys the packaging is also really pretty i think there are a few products that are not a lot of people talk about like i told you the estee lauder lip treatment and the simply nam's lip butter that she has recently launched so if you are interested, you should definitely get your hands on these ones because these are really good lip balms. So guys, those were my lip balm recommendations. I hope you all enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you do, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.